And then that's the dosage rate. They give that half a cc once a week, uh, or maybe twice a week. So most of the time when they give three tens or four tens, they do it twice a week. But if you uh, give it too often, too fast, you're releasing the toxins too fast, like at the beginning when, when the clinics were doing the clinical test and they, they did not uh, listen, but they've been anxious uh, to have CC every day. And in two weeks, the person uh, got into problem with the liver because the liver couldn't handle it. So they backed off and let the liver uh, you know, recoup and then resume the treatment at a much lower dosage rate. It's not recommended to overdo it. The lower, the lower uh, rate uh, gets even better result than try to put in too much too fast. Well, I don't know anything about Nutriana. It's not my product. My product is uh, made from human genetic material. It's called Country. Uh, it's under that trade name. And they are little humanoids. They are ancestors made from our defense, uh, uh, made of our DNA molecules, or rather our, our uh, genetic material. And they are 100 micron in size. Well, he was telling uh, at the beginning of this talk that uh, that uh, the Nutriana has nothing to do with my Andriana. At the beginning of the of the talk, so I think uh, uh, there is not much more to discuss about it. That uh, it's not the same product, so I don't know their product, and uh, the Andriana is uh, cannot be distributed by anyone other than clinics or doctors. That's a product which can only get into doctor's offices and clinics and not to individuals. Yes, ma'am? Uh, what is the shelf life for the life crystal? The life crystal has an infinite shelf life. The, uh, the, one, the oral one, once you open it up, it's recommended put in uh, to the refrigerator uh, just in, to play it safe, but it's not really necessary. But we recommend that people do that because you leave the cap off and the air is dirty and the air has uh, uh, yeast get in there and you may start fermentation. Now, we took the water content off to prevent fermentation and uh, it has no preservative, but the, uh, the ATP and GTP uh, itself is on the acidic side. It's a good preservative by itself. Now, the prior product has all been, been tested by in Colorado by the uh, FDA for, for bugs, and it was clean. There was no bugs in there because we don't have preservatives. Dr. Merkel, yes. uh, you said that we have to, we that are in the U.S. need to write to someone. Could you tell us who we need to write to so we can get uh, the life crystals in the uh, country on it in the No, not in the U.S. You, uh, if, you call the, if you call the telephone number of our office, they give you the list of doctors or names in other countries, we do not sell more. We do not manufacture or sell. Who do we write that letter to? We don't know. Who. To get the Candriana? Yes. Well, that information is given out from from our office to send them to to Mexico or okay. Europe or Canada. What's that number? Okay. Could could we have the number then that oh, the we num need? Uh -huh. uh, you have to call eight uh, nine one five area code. 877-4520. But that, that we cannot give you any other information, just uh, give you a telephone number where you call. Because we are not allowed to uh, promote, manufacture, distribute country on in the United States. Okay. Or, uh, uh, just a minute, maybe I can give you directly numbers. Do you have uh, Dr. Viapando's number? I have uh, 011 5216 access code 152001. Okay. That's in Mexico. And you, you can you can uh, you can write there or phone there directly. 
and uh, that's one of the supply from Mexico. Could you repeat that number again for some of us? One five two zero zero one, and the access code is zero one one five two one six. Thank you. Now well, there's another number in, in Toronto, Canada. Man, the, there is another number in Toronto, Canada. Four one six four eight seven zero eight eight two. And that's Dr. Dabgan. Thank you. Welcome. D E B G A N, Ravi. <laughs> 416 487 0882. Yes, sir. Dr. Merkel, I have some injectable material. I don't have a doctor yet. And I have lupus. I'm also taking prednisone. Uh, if I take the injectable material, I can't stop my prednisone. Can I take it at the same time? I really not allowed to uh, give you advice on it. You have to see your doctor. And, okay. uh, and uh, you know, I, I really can't say because I don't know uh, the drug itself. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thank you. You're welcome. And also, the other question I have is how many weeks do you stay on it, or is it just dependent on the testing that your own doctor well, does? First of all, you know, uh, it's depending what type of lupus you have. You have uh, type A, B, C, or D. Uh, they're all different, though, like the, the type A is attacking joints, and uh, type B and C attacking organs, and type B is attacking brains. So it's uh, depending on what type you have. God, I hope it's A. <laughs> Well, uh, uh, and each, uh, each one takes different amount of treatment, but our experience, we have a clinic who is working, sp is specialized in lupus in Dubai, in the Middle East, oh. and uh, they, uh, they report to us that some only take three, four injections, other ones uh, take five, six. Uh, the general recommended by the clinics to take the whole two. Uh, again, it depending what type of lupus. Now, uh, rheumatic arthritis is a lupus disease too, mm -hmm. and uh, country island is also very effective against that. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Dr. Merkel, you spoke about um, chemotherapy reducing the effectiveness of the Chondriana treatment. Can it's you? Yes. Can you tell me whether there's a time limit? Um, if the body has had chemotherapy, say, a year previously, does it have more chance of, of accepting the chondriana treatment? It's not so much that it's affecting the chondriana treatment. The chemotherapy uh, does a lot of damage to uh, the immune system, the bone marrow. This is why they do bone marrow transplant after chemotherapy. And uh, uh, the, the stem cell production, which is the germinal centers, which is really destroyed. But Chemotherapy not only attacking your uh, your bone marrow, but also attacking all your other organs and your tissues. It's very well established, very well known. Now, uh, the reason that the, the remission rate is lower, not because the country uh, is affected by chemotherapy, but because um, the damage has been done to the organ and the body to handle toxins and the liver and the kidney to function properly, and restoring the immune system. Uh, if there is no stem cell production of bone marrow to go to the, um, the other lymph organs uh, uh, to form or energy or uh, activate the, uh, the B lymphocytes and the T cells, then um, you're left there without an immune system. That's why if cancer comes back after chemotherapy, you are there hanging without an immune system. Uh, the country on a can rebuild the immune system takes about three and a half months. The problem is that most of these patients don't have three and a half months. They may have three weeks or four weeks, and that's they, you never get them to the point that they can take the country on a treatment. Uh, also, they're very anemic. I just mentioned the Japanese um, Hiroshima case that they all lost their blood platelets. And uh, you wonder, you know, when all this uh, uh, radiation and chemotherapy, people get it, and their blood platelet counts goes to hell. And you cannot uh, use chondriana on those people because they have a very strong immune reaction. 
and they're prone to get a stroke without a strong reaction.